All right, I'm getting to the end of my sandpaper wheel on my grinder, at least to the point that I would want to use it for finish work, which is what this is. It's kind of weird to use such a brutalic tool. Usually this isn't a fine finishing tool, but in the case of Coping Crown, this is a, a beast. You put a heavy 60 or 80 grit sandpaper wheel on there. Some people put uh, two on, one facing up, one facing down, so that you have that flexibility to use both sides if you want. Um, but I don't have any more, and it's getting gummed up, and the edge quality is poor. So... Uh, it's nice to have a stack of those when you're coping crown molding all day. So I gave up on that for now until I can run to the store. I'm going to throw a little bit of mud in some of these low areas here and uh, leave that to dry. And then I was looking at this door. This is another thing. See, I'm mudding a little cart before the horse here. I was mudding up to the trim, which usually the drywall or the wall board goes behind the trim to the jam, and then you put the trim on. But we were saying this room is uh, unique. And this is a great example of that, so I was going to uh, show that. This door, since we moved the beam and stuff in here, in this building downstairs last summer, the bathroom door jams at the bottom. We're looking at the, the door gap right now. This is, this is normally covered by trim, so we're looking at the door gap, and it sticks down there. It's not, it wasn't working correctly. So, uh, pop that piece of trim off there to have a look and lo and behold we had what I thought we were saw in the hole over there for the sink it's uh, tongue groove boards Let's see if I can get that to expose yeah I can't get it to auto expose um, it's tongue and groove boards on the wall in there going this way and then some kind of fabric that I don't know what that is on this side you can see the tongue and groove boards easily enough um, but this is like how the door jam would be built to the finished wall surface, which is what these boards were intended to be. And then the trim is put over from the edge of the jam to onto the surface of the wall. But then somebody decided to put drywall board or whatever this, this is a harder board, this is like a concrete board or something on there, and then buttered it with plaster, kind of like a sculpted plaster. That, well, this is ugly and gross and, and not smooth like people are used to, but to be honest with you, I think it'll look great with a, a brand new coat of paint on it. That texture is just old school look, so that's cool, except to get this side of the trim off to address this door issue, it's split all the way up the middle. Um, I'm pretty good about not doing that, but this is kind of unavoidable. This, I mean, it's full of giant, like 16, Penny nails, finish nails, just monsters or whatever. Um, so I had a little bit of breakage. I'll, also, the end couldn't come away from the wall as we go because it's almost an inch deep here. That's the actual subfloor. The rest of this here, that's why you step up into the room, um, was additional. And so that was after, and after this was a room, obviously, and they fit it around the bottom of the door trim and everything too. I wouldn't be surprised if the drywall board goes down behind there. I haven't really yet. It does. It goes all the way down behind and the sub floor, plain floor, is just on top of everything here. Which is why if you see, if you watch that body line on the tub, uh, look at, we've got, you know, this situation that goes, eh, truncates, pinches down. Um, who knows why? I don't really know what's going on underneath here. That's why we're getting this whipped in a temporary shape for now and someday uh, this is all getting gutted just so I can see what the heck is going on here. It's um, It really bothers me to have kind of a fun house just with nice finishes on it, um, but I have no choice so that's what we're doing. Anyway, so I paused to address this door and you can see that uh, it was never installed correctly. This should have shims periodically and be screwed into framing and pinching the shim all up and keeping it tight right now. There's nothing that keeps this from changing. There's nothing that, you know, it, it's, in theory, it's attached here and there, but the way that you do this doesn't, this isn't the way that you do this. You don't leave big sockets of, of empty space because they may morph and change and cause a, something like this door not to function properly. Weirdly, there's a big gap behind the jam up here at the end of the wall, and as we get down here, it becomes tight. So here's where I need the space. I need to send this jam over a quarter of an inch or so at the bottom. I haven't got the space. Uh, if the situation was reversed and it was tight up here, well then it could just stay there because my door uh, gap is is real nice right here. It's maybe 3 16 of an inch or something. Fine. So what are we going to do? We're going to add some shims, screw through them, add some shims, screw through them, uh, take the saws all behind the jam and take and just gut that a quarter of an inch or so, sh uh, shut that over tight to the new surface 
with uh, screws, double check that the door works well, and then we're gonna send a piece of trim, we're gonna take the piece of trim that came off this face and rip it a little more narrow and put it back over here, right into the place where it came from previously. And we're gonna do the same thing over here except we won't reuse that, obviously we'll have to have a new guy and we'll rip him a little bit narrower um, because if you can imagine wherever this was before, it's gonna kick that way at the bottom just a tiny bit and this is why you don't do this usually, but the edge, it's so hard to see here, but the, uh, this is the trim board that we took off over here, and it's sent flush to the jam. I like to move the trim board over and have what's called a reveal, and that is where it can change and wander back and forth a little bit, the angle in an old space, and you don't notice, I mean obviously this trim board can't come out from flush, nor start back from flush and then become flush, um, that draws your eye more than uh, exposed surface that goes from maybe quarter of an inch at the bottom to three eighths at the top, or uh, that's pretty extreme, but anything inside of that would be fine. Um, so that's what we'll do here. There will be a little bit of a reveal to the jam, and it will be a little bit smaller at the top and a little bit greater at the bottom, or no, smaller at the bottom, greater at the top, but this will be finished again, painted again, the door will work, uh, properly and we'll get back on track with the final coats of mud and a little bit of caulking above them But that's something you can see there the ceiling wanders um, And I forced the, the crown in as much as I can but we're gonna have to address those shadows and notice how this highlights bloop, 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 um, The forms in the ceiling that aren't perfectly smooth that will be addressed with caulking and uh, You do your best and you caulk the rest Oh, some other things that are happening simultaneously here. We're about to get the floor covered back up again. I know it hasn't really moved since last time. This is something I got along with that trim, along with that crown mold from my buddies. Two tall, thin, uh, you know, finish grade wood with interesting hardware cabinet doors and, and matched old hinges. And I've been thinking about something for this here where this gas valve is and this electric uh, electrical panel. I think I'm going to build in some kind of closet pantry situation and one of these will work above and one of them will work below for that and then all these like uh, utility things will be sort of in a finished space maybe a couple shelves in the middle or a pocket and um, you could have a little pantry space or whatever this room becomes but I think that that will be important is to cover this goobered up kind of mess there for now because there's nothing I can do better than that but every little bit counts so just an update.